roguelite, dungeon crawler, shoot 'em up bullet hell. This game is crazy. Oh, look at this guy. It's like Bullet King. In the lead throne. Holy There's bullet hell for you right there. Welcome to Guzzle and Frag, your craft beer and gaming destination. Today we're taking a look at the well-regarded bullet hell dungeon crawler Enter the Gungeon and drinking a nice sour from Holy Mountain Brewing. I'll be playing the pilot in this run. Grab a beer, sit back, and enjoy my first run in Enter the Gungeon. Uh, you guys might have played this game, Enter the Gungeon. It came out a few years back, um, and I just, I don't know, I missed it. You know, a lot of these games that I've been playing on these streams are just games that I really wanted to play, but at the time, for whatever reason, I just uh, happened to miss them. I don't know. Um, so this was one that I I love roguelites, and I it, this game just looks really cool, even though it's bullet hell, and I'm not really that much into bullet hell, but just kind of the look and the aesthetic of this game and everything about the gameplay just seemed really cool. Now, I, I went through the tutorial, and I played kind of like just one run to kind of get get used to the way the game kind of flows and get used to the controls and stuff. Having just come off Hades, which was a really great stream last week, if you missed it, you should go back and watch that. The control scheme for this is a little different, but it's a very similar style game. So I've struggled with, uh, I've struggled a little bit with the controls. I hope tonight I will get sort of more into the groove, but we'll have to see what happens. If you've played this game, one thing you might remember is there's a lot of tables in the game. And in fact, in the tutorial, they encourage you to flip tables for cover. And so I thought that would be a fun tie-in for our first beer tonight. So check it out. I have from Holy Mountain. You've seen me put their beer on this channel quite a bit. Let's get the autofocus kicking in. Yeah, Mango Table. And you probably can't read that text at the top. This is a table sour fermented in oak puncheons with bread amanises and lactobacillus. Lactobacillus, sorry, and aged, aged on mangoes, refermented in the bottle with bread amanises, and it is, well, I can't read the ABV, but it's pretty low because this is a table beer. And if you're not familiar with table beers, it is an old school style from Europe where this would be a beer you would have with a meal. And actually, because they're usually so low ABV, even children would drink them, I think, on occasion. So there's, you know, if you grew up in Europe, you might know about table beers, uh, but you know, over in the US, it's a fairly new resurgence or uh, they kind of rescued that, uh, that style, um, especially Holy Mountain. Um, they've been definitely making that from the beginning. So uh, I, I love every table beer they've made so far. I've not been disappointed by any of them. They even made a strawberry one and I was kind of skeptical because like, like strawberries in a beer, I don't know, man, but it, you know, they're they're able to pull it off and it's just, look at the color of it. You know, this is, uh, here's the pour and uh, just awesome kind of bright golden color. Um, and uh, it's actually pretty low carb. And so let's, uh, let's just get right into the taste here. Yeah, so I could just say on the nose, like I can just smell the kind of like the funk from the, uh, the bread of manises. Yeah, that Brett funk and then uh, the mango flavor is still really strong. Oh man. So this beer is from 2017. It's probably not as bright as it was fresh in terms of the mango flavor, but it's still just awesome, like really well balanced. It's not overly tart, which a lot of these fruited sours can be. And it's just awesome, um, really just smooth mango flavor. With a very healthy funk on the back end um, for that finish there. So yeah, Holy Mountain, man, they're awesome. Mango Table was uh, a highly sought after beer that they released and I'm glad this is my last bottle. And uh, for three years, being three years old, it's held up exceptionally well, and I'm, I'm really happy with this bottle. You never know. You go into the cellar and you pull some bottle out. You just don't know. In fact, later on tonight, uh, the other two beers I have to open, I'm really curious to see what uh, what those are going to be like. So, yeah, Enter the Gungeon, man. Um, I'm really stoked for this. Uh, it looks awesome. I played just one run, like I said, and uh, I didn't get too far, so this is going to be really cool, I think. So, Roguelite... Dungeon crawler, shoot 'em up, bullet hell. This game is crazy. And I did the first run with the Marine. I think this time I'm going to try a new character. Um, we have our options of the Marine, the Pilot, the Convict, and then the Hunter. 
And it looks like the hunter has a dog, so that's pretty awesome. Let's just go with the pilot for this round, this run here. Yeah, so like I was saying about uh, compar comparing this to Hades, there's a dodge mechanic. Um, and in Hades, that's space bar. So when I first started playing this, I was hitting space bar, and I wasn't dodging. I was like, oh, man, it's just getting destroyed. So I have to get used to that. But in this, it's right click. All right. We're starting out on the run here. Um, what do we start with? So I have kind of like a laser gun. That's cool. All right. Let's look at the Ammonomicon here, which is pretty funny. Okay, so passive items. I have a... Oh, reduced prices at the shops. My disarming personality helps me there. And then I have extra space. Increases uh, active item capacity and maximum ammo count. Cool. So that's what the pilot starts with. And then I have a... Oh, I can pick locks. That's good. Good to know. Enter into the dungeon. There we go. I flipped the table. So now, now the beer pairing is complete. I fulfilled my uh, table flipping duties here. Oh yeah, the music's awesome so far, by the way, guys. Let me know if it's too loud. You know, another game this reminds me of is uh, um, Nuclear Throne, which uh, I'm not very good at that game. But this game is, uh, there's kind of some similarities there too, which is also a cool game. Um, I'm just really, I'm just really terrible at it. Actually, let's go, I'm gonna go this way. See what's in here. Besides some enemies here. Oh crap! Not a good time to reload. Oh jeez. Um. All right, hang on a second, guys. It's getting a little hectic here. This is a uh, busy room. You know, one thing I like about this is there's no stupid little mini game for reloading where you have to, like, try to hit it at the right time. I kind of hate that in games like this, especially when it gets so frantic. You're just trying to, like, survive and dodge bullets and stuff. I don't have to worry about, like, some dumb mini game where, you know, I got to I gotta hit right in the center to reload it, you know, and get a bonus or whatever. I kind of always hated that. But here's our shop. Um, I'm kind of thinking... Well, first of all, I don't have much money, but there's a gun. Uh, 1911. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Chappy Hayes, you got to get into your cellar? Dude, I'm, I'm like, I'm serious, man. I, I think I'm really, I'm going to try as hard as I can to just be on a strict buying freeze right now. I, I really need to make some progress. Um, I've got some plans for next month. Uh, opening some kind of fun beers from the cellar, but man, and I, you know, obviously doing this is helping a little bit, but I'm just like slowly chipping it, oh, chipping it away instead of making like broad dents to it. So yeah, it's really hard, man. Um, yeah, it's hard to do these on your own too. You got to be in the mood to do it most nights, and they're weak. It's weak nights, you know. It's it's. All right, here we go. Hang on. Oh my goodness. Bird guys are new. I've not seen these guys yet. All right, cool. Not too bad. I I wonder. I think there's secrets in some of the rooms. I'm not sure though how you uh, how you identify like what walls you can destroy and stuff. Well, there's a switch here. Oh, that drops the chandelier. Yeah, it would have been good to use earlier. Hey, got a, oh, got a new gun. Mahogany. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Chappie, I'll let you know. I'll let her know you said hi. She's upstairs. Um, Cool. Uh, let's uh, keep pushing on through the dungeon. Actually, you know what? Um... Yeah, okay, got to go this way. Any guys in chat, if you guys have played this game, let me know. I have some questions. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, so our, our new gun, the mahogany, uh, ma mahogany, I should say, fires leaves. You know, it reminds me of uh, Mega Man 2, Woodman, with his leaf weapons and stuff. Oh, check this out. Got a. Oh, shit. All right, that's new. Nothing a leaf gun can't handle. Mahogany. So these teleporters, you can sort of, uh, you can kind of warp to different rooms. It's kind of cool. I'll be, I'll be using that later, I'm sure. Oh, wow. That's, oh my god. That's something new. Damn. But, uh... Surprising. Okay, there's our boss room, so obviously not ready to do that yet. Uh, let's warp back. Got to keep exploring because you know you got to get power ups and, and relics and all that. If you played these types of games before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Binding of Isaac. Uh, oh man! Oh my God! I just hit spacebar right there, trying to dodge, and it's not gonna work. Uh, I actually have quite a bit of ammo for this gun. That's sort of surprising, because I remember in my previous run, I got a new gun. It hardly had any ammo. So obviously I was not able to use it for too long. Um, and I think the guns sort of, like, really dictate if you're going to make a run or not so far from what I've, what I've seen. Which I guess, you know, for these types of games, it's not all that surprising. Alright, what do we got in here? Oh man, what what is that? What? Oh yeah, I got a key. Sweet. Oh, Jesus. This is hard, man. Alright. Tough. I'm getting beat down already. It's just the first level. All right, let's see through here. All right, is that it? Oh shit, no it is not. Wow, that guy came out of nowhere. Man. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, man. That's a good burp. Oh, shit. Oh yeah, so the blanks are interesting items. They let you, uh, first of all, they let you destroy secret walls if there's a secret in the room. And then also deflects all the bullets that are coming at you, so it's pretty handy. Um, a med kit, that's good. Yeah, I forget how to use that. I think it's like G or something, or F or something. Good to have that, though. Actually, I should probably use it now. Uh, let me go to the store. Um, and heal up there. I'll save the med kit. But yeah, I, I almost died, man. Wasn't even really paying attention. <laughs> okay, so how much is the healing here? Seventeen for a half, dude. That's kind of that's kind of expensive, man. Um, yeah, I'm sort of. I think I've gone through every other room I can here. Um, so I, you know what? I might I might have to just use the med kit. Uh, oh, it's okay. It was space bar. I just had my lock pick selected. I guess. All right. All right. I got it now. Well, let's go fight the boss. Let's see what we're up against here. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> it's like Bullet King. 
in the lead throne. Nice. Oh. I'm glad I used that mid kit because, man, it's, it's already pretty hairy. Oh, that was close. Oh, okay. I guess I could shoot the, uh... I could shoot his projectiles, so that's good to know. There's a bullet hell moment. Nice. I, I kind of struggle a little bit with bullet hell stuff, I'm not going to lie. We'll see how I do with this. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, that was close. <laughs> Yikes. He's almost dead. Got him. Bam! Cheers, guys. All right, we have ourselves a new gun. Oh, sweet. I thought you could only have two guns at a time, but apparently not. That's awesome. So I got the Magnum, sweet. <laughs> I guess you were supposed to shoot that guy. I just, I just ran into him instead. All right, that's cool. Um, I think we're good for this floor. Let's keep moving. Oh yeah, so if you if you hit this guy, this red button, he'll take you back to the uh, the lobby area. You can like uh, if you have to take a break or whatever. It's pretty funny. He gets pissed off. Um, all right, guys, floor two. Wish me luck. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me switch back actually to my default gun here. Conserve the ammo. Oh god, what is this? Uh, a shrine. Alright, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe later in the game there's some way to get like a blessing or something from the shrines. I'm not really sure how those work. Uh, kind of a bummer that like right currently it like does nothing. Wow. That guy takes a lot of hits. That's just one from the Magnum. All right. Tomatron, have you played this before? This is cool, man. It's got really great music so far. Um, it's really fun. Oh, wow. What the hell was that? Oh, that was him. I'm kind of thinking I need to be rolling into these rooms with the Magnum already at the ready and just kind of like try to one-shot dudes before they get an attack off like that. What the hell is this? A prime primer for 110 bullets, man. What the hell is this thing? There's two empty sl Oh, okay, so you can, uh... I got it. You can recycle your guns. That's kind of cool. And there's a map now. 36. I'd be spending like... You know what? Oh, grappling hook. Interesting. Huh. And then armor. All right. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep moving, but maybe come back if uh, I need a key later and buy a key from him. But we'll see. Uh, let's go back to the shop and see what we can do in these rooms here. Oh, interesting. Alright. I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be. Altar is empty. Huh. I guess I got nothing to put on the altar there to make a sacrifice or a uh, offering, you know? But let's keep moving on. Try to get some more money. Cheers, guys. Yeah, this game's awesome so far. And it was free. It's awesome. I mean, just crazy. Alright, what are we dealing with here? A huge room that's empty. Alright, give me a second. There's like target practice stuff. Uh, 
Um, is this a... Uh, could this be, I wonder? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird they put me in a big room. Oh my god. What is this thing? Alright, let me get my, uh... Magnum. Did the trick. Yeah, these dudes, these dudes mean business. Oh. Oh, what is this? Oh, I got some ammo. Sweet. I'm, I'm, I'm totally full on ammo now. This is awesome, guys. Uh, sweet. Let's roll. Holy shit! <laughs> wow, that's intense. All right. Look at that, it's a bat, but it's a bullet. Okay, not a problem, not a problem. Uh-oh. I will say that the pilot, his default laser gun, reloads fairly quickly, which is very nice. A lot of the guns take a long time to reload. You have to really be, like, out of danger if you're going to reload at all. Um... <laughs> But yeah, this is really cool. Uh, speaking of... Oh, there's the boss room. All right, we're not ready for that quite yet. Got to get some uh, goodies. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. I love that you can flip the tables. <laughs> Use them as cover. It's awesome. Oh, I was about to hit spacebar there. Oh, I forgot I have a lockpick. I don't know, I was talking about keys earlier. I totally forgot my dude has a lockpick. So I don't even need keys at all, probably. Unless the lockpick can be, like, used up. Okay, so what are we dealing with here? Let's see. Oh, man. All right, all right. A little crazy. Oh. All right, all right. Oh, man, this dude looks dangerous. But I got the leaf gun, so I'm not worried about it. All right. I feel like it's going a lot better than last last uh, room or last level, I should say. Oh, I want to get that explosive barrel. Nice. The magnum, sweet. So the first run I, I did, I got a shotgun, which is awesome. But uh, we'll see if. Uh, oh, that sucked. I couldn't believe I got hit there. I, um, we'll have to see what I can find on this run. Oh, I gotta remember those guys explode when you kill them. I don't think there's anything in the uh, crates. Any of you guys that have played this game, let me know if there's stuff you can find in the crates. Um, alright, what's this? Oh, a new gun! The Helix, Splice and Dice. Yeah, so I had no idea you get to keep all the guns you find. That's awesome. So, uh... <laughs> I don't know what that little fart sound was, but, uh, okay. Let's go back to the shop. Oh, you know what? Let's go here. Still a room I have yet to explore. Find as much money as we possibly can and go to the shop and... Oh, what is that? Oh, man. I hope that just killed him. Bam! Is that it? Sweet. Whoa. 
I haven't seen this guy before. But I got the Magnum, so just kind of deal with him. Yeah, this is going pretty well. Cheers, guys. Oh, man. Sheenock, what is up? Thanks for joining. All right. Let's try our Helix. Oh, weird. It's got like a, uh, a weird little kind of wavy uh, firing mode. That's interesting. All right, so... Uh oh, all right, let me switch weapons. Oh my god. What is that? Huh. Okay. Got it handled. What did I pick up? It's like a special key or something. Uh, okay, well, let's keep moving. Okay, back to the mag. Oh, nice. What the hell is this? Drum clip, one size fits all. So it looks like I got extended ammo capacity in all my weapons, which is great. That will be very helpful. I'm um, feeling pretty good, guys. I still want to go to the store. Wait, what's in here? What is this? What the hell is this? Is this the, oh, that's the special key I found. What do you have to say here? Oh, finally. Huh. Cheers, guys. Oh, a shop. Top level of the breach. Oh, yeah, so the breach is like your starting area where you get to pick which character you want, and you can go, I guess there's going to be a, a store as well. Mistress Cadence. All right. Ox. Nice. All right. Okay, so I, I guess uh, we have a new store to explore uh, for the next run, which is pretty sweet. Um... Yeah, if you guys have played this, let me know how you find the secrets um, in the walls and stuff, because I'm just not sure how that works exactly. All right. Let's go to the shop. We'll see what we can get there. And then we have our boss encounter. I think we've gotten through every other room on this floor. Okay, what is this thing? A oh, it's just ammo and then keys. Uh, the grappling hook sounds interesting, but what is this? The prime primer. Well, I don't have enough to buy it. I wonder if you, if you put a gun in here, if you get... Uh, if it gives you credits, like how that works. I'm a little bit reluctant to give up guns quite yet. I know I've been finding them at a pretty regular pace, but I don't feel like I've gotten to the point where I'm really like super dialed in with any of these guns. I might like end up liking one more than the other later. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, um, let's do the grappling hook and then, uh, do some armor because I'm, I'm a little bit damaged right now and I wish there was a way I could heal it doesn't appear to be one uh, how do I use the grappling hook though so is it uh, how do I swap items that was the thing I was it's not Q okay shift okay shift swaps items nice that's cool that's a long cooldown though more useless, what's up? The gun eater chest eats two guns and gives one back. Okay, so you kind of do like a, a little bit of gambling there. Interesting. Thanks, man. That's a good tip. Uh, let's go back and or let's do our boss fight. Uh, yeah, I've got the grappling hook. I've got my plethora of weapons here. They're all pretty well stocked. Let us go to the boss. Cheers, guys. Oh man, Medusa. What is this? Uh-oh. <laughs> She's got Uzis. The gore gun. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Okay, uh, I'm, I got the Magnum. This is good. Some range. Okay. Gotta get away from that. Ooh. Alright. This is serious. Yikes. Gotta remember to use my, uh, lengths. Holy shit. Alright, well. Interesting, uh, firing pattern for this gun. 
Hey, what? Why to pause? That's weird. There's bullet hell for you right there. It has some range on it, man. I hate to say it, but it's like <laughs> it made that fight pretty easy. Yeah, buddy. All right, man. I got some protection, got some ammo, and I got a log. Oh, so hang on. I swapped my I swapped my grappling hook for the decoy. I don't know. I know we just bought the grappling hook, but the decoy is probably more useful. If I had to guess, <laughs> I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the decoy. Um, hang on a second, though. Is it like one-time use? How do you recharge that? Oh wait. Oh okay. So I'm giving up. Um, I'm giving up one of the items to get the other. All right, I'm not sure about the decoy, if it reloads or what. <laughs> That's awesome. She turned to stone. I was able to blow her up. That's funny. Cheers, guys. Oh, yeah. More useless. The wooden grenade launcher is now more amazing when you have the decoy. All right, good to know. I, uh, I do have that. The mahogany. Definitely going to hold on to that one. Um... But yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the decoy, um, and hopefully uh, I'll find a way to recharge that later. Let's just keep pushing on though. Go to the next floor. Chappy Hay is getting food. Thanks for uh, watching so far, dude. Glad to have you on board. Hope you're drinking with me, by the way. Cheers, guys. If you join late, I am drinking the Holy Mountain Mango Table Sour, and it is delicious. I don't know if you guys remember earlier the color, but now it's less golden kind of color. Now it's actually, and you could probably see the particulate in there, the yeast at the bottom, but a uh, little bit extra protein in there. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Uh, let's keep going, man. We are... We're doing a, a pretty solid run here, I would say. I've gotten pretty lucky with the drops. Ooh, okay. This looks a little sketch. Oh, it's just that one guy. That's, that was easy. Um, all right. Let's go down. Whoa, buddy. I'm trying to hit, there's a, so in the center there, there's a little barrel, I'm trying to hit that, okay. Wow, that got close. What's over there? Is there a dude over here? Oh man. Where are you? <laughs> All right, sweet. Oh, is this a secret here? A hole? Probably not, right? It doesn't look like it. Although I have two, I have two blanks. Maybe I should use it just to see what happens. Yeah, why not? Not a secret. All right. Good to know. Let's go back to the. Uh, I know. I'm kind of running low on the magnum ammo, but. It's a really, like, it's got such good stopping power that, like, if you can get a shot off early, it could really make all the difference in a crazy room. This is weird how you enter rooms and there's nothing. It's a giant room with nothing in it. No enemies or anything. It's just kind of disconcerting. Okay. All right. Interesting. Uh, well, we got to know there's probably something really good on the other end of this. Well, that's sloppy. Jeez. Uh, to go through all that, let's see what's in here. 
Oh, it's Cthulhu. See that? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, sh okay, hold on. Can't get a little... Can't get uh, sloppy here. Oh, that reload, though. That's a little slow. I, I do like this gun a lot, though, so far. The Helix. It's too bad my buddy Single Helix isn't on right now. Got a gun just for him. <laughs> he might he might be on later. We'll see. Uh, you know what? I was going to switch to my, my default gun. Oh, you know what I did try is if uh, the arrow keys... Yeah, the arrow keys... Or the... Uh, sorry, the number keys... Do switch weapons, so that's really good to know. What the hell? Oh, I need a key. Well, I'll tell you what. You know what I got? Got my lockpick. Oh, you can't use the lockpick to open chests? What? Why didn't that work? Well, I guess I could blow it open. That works. Junk? Oh, no, I guess not. Oh, he's following me around. Hey, you gonna, like, drop ammo or do something for me? Um, all right, let's keep rolling. Uh, wait a minute, I've been in here already, right? Yeah. Let's, um, let's teleport. Oh, yeah, this again? Crap. I can't really, um, skip it either. Oh, God, I just, it's just, it's terrible. Oh, the box, dude, you all right? He got hit by the uh, log. It's like Fall Guys in here. Oh. Whoops, that was the Magnum. I'm just, like, letting loose. Wasting all my ammo. Oh! That was close. <laughs> oh, man, that reload, though, is painful. Are they... I think the, the Helix actually is homing as well. Um. Yeah, so... If anybody knows why the uh, lockpick wouldn't work on the chest lock, let me know. This is my only my second run ever in this game, so I'm still learning the ropes. Um, let's go through here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Okay. Interesting. Minecart, I love it. But let me see what's in the room first. Okay. Uh, how does this work? Okay, how do I get into the other minecart? Okay. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, I don't know. I, I, I would normally actually try to get somewhere in this puzzle. Except I'm down to, like, one health, basically. So if I fall in that pit again, I'm dead. So I don't want to mess with that right now. And what I really need to do is find the shop. So let's go back down here and see if we can find the shop. Because that would be awesome. Not the shop. Alright. Uh, oh, no. Oh, the box wants to go attack him. Okay. All right, hang on, guys. Whoa, buddy. All right. Uh. Oh, that's sloppy. I deserve that. Cheers, guys. Killed by bullet can. Hmm. Well, that was that was a pretty cool run, though. I think. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate you. I hope you guys got a laugh at my really terrible, uh, really terrible performance. But uh, hey, cheers. And we'll see you guys for the next one. Yeah, buddy. Thanks, guys. Cheers. <laughs> Later, guys.